All right, everyone. So remember, uh, we all we all split up into groups. So this station will be the weathering and erosion. Uh, what this is, we're going to review for our competition that we'll be having next week. So everyone needs to participate because we're going to compete and we're going to get points. And if you don't compete, you can't get any points. So now let's go ahead and get started. So, hmm. what is weathering? Like when it rains or it snows. That's actually a good, a, a good part of it. So what weathering is, is weathering is the breaking down of rocks into smaller particles called sediments. Oh, we're gonna go over a physical, uh, physical weathering. But before I show you, what is physical weathering? When you break it down. When you break it down, yes. So, but the main part is you break down the rock, but it remains the same substance. So it's still the same rock. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna show you this rock. What happens if I get this popsicle stick and just beat it up? It's breaking into smaller pieces, but is it still the same rock? Yes. Yes, it is. So that was a what kind of weathering? Physical. A physical weathering, that is correct. Now, let's talk about a, a weathering that is chemical. What is uh, chemical weathering? It breaks it down, but at the same time, it will change the substance. So, for example, molecules like CO2 or carbon dioxide can mix with water vapor in, in the air and then come down as acid rain and then it would break down the rock. So now we're going to go over an example of chemical weathering. So we have the same rock, but now we're going to mix it with some water. So, as many of y'all can see, the rock is breaking down into gases. It's, re the, it's releasing a lot of gases, so what kind of weathering would this be? Chemical. Chemical, exactly. Because the rock is breaking down and it's turning into a gas now. So it's still the same substance. No. No. So now, I want everyone to repeat this phrase with me. Weathering breaks. Weathering breaks. Weathering breaks. So what do you think that means? Weathering breaks down stuff. It breaks down stuff. So in this case, our rocks that we're talking about. So now, we're going to go over various examples. So in this picture here, what's going on? What action is happening? There's wind blowing. So if there's wind, really strong wind blowing onto a rock, what's going to happen to that rock? It's going to break down and move. It's going to break down. It's going to break down and move the rock, but as is the rock changing? No. So what kind of weathering was this? Physical. Physical weathering. So yeah, physical. The force of the wind hitting the boulder for a long period of time makes it break down into smaller pieces of rock. So it just breaks it down. So now, in this picture, there's ice covering this rock. So what's gonna happen to that rock? The ice is gonna expand. The ice is gonna expand, and then some, some of the water is gonna freeze inside of the rock. It's gonna cause the rock to expand. So this rock will then be broken. So what kind of what kind of weathering was this? Physical. A physical weathering. That is correct. So water continually seeps into cracks, freezing and expanding, eventually breaking the rock apart. So like we said. So now in this picture, there's a lot of carbon dioxide being released into the air, and then eventually it's going to rain acid rain. So what's going to happen to this stone? It's going to break down. It's going to break down. But is it going to stay the same? No, because it's acid rain. Because it's acid rain, that's correct. And what kind of weathering did we say this was? Chemical. 
chemical, that is correct. So, the chemicals released into the air from the power plant uh, mixed with the water vapor made acid rain that broke down the statue. So like you were correct, this is uh, chemical weathering. So now in this last picture, we have oxygen in the air. And what's happening to the rock in the picture? It changed color. It changed color. Do you happen to know what this, this action is called? It's rust. <laughs> so what kind of change, what kind of weathering is happening to the rock? Chemical. Chemical, that is correct. So materials combined with oxygen to make the rock weak and crumble to form smaller rock particles or rust. So you were correct. This is chemical weathering. So now we're going to talk about another something else that can happen to rocks. So what is erosion? The breakdown. No. So that can be part of it, but that would be considered weathering. Remember, weathering breaks. So I want everyone to say this with, this with me. Weathering breaks. Weathering breaks. And erosion takes. Erosion takes. So what do you think that means then? It takes it to different places. Ah, it takes it to different places. So, let's go ahead and read this. Erosion is the movement of natural particles from their original place by wind, water, or ice. So, although there can be breaking of the rock, we call that weathering. But the, the action of it being moved from one place to another is called, what does everyone say it? Erosion. Erosion, that's correct. So now let's show a quick example of what erosion could be. So I have this sand here, and let's say some wind comes. Oh, and some of it flew all over the place. So is it still in the same location? No. No. So erosion occurred. So now we're going to go over different, different types of erosion. So this first one, waves are constantly hitting this rock. So what do you think is going to happen here? It's going to break down. But what's but in, ero in terms of erosion, what is going to happen? It's going to move the rock somewhere else. Smaller, it's going to move small particles of the rock slowly. So weathering will happen, and since it broke little, it broke little parts. It's going to take it with, with it. Remember, weathering breaks and erosion takes. So water washes against the rocks and carry away the rock particles. We just did this one. So there's wind blowing on, all around the sand, sand dunes. So what's going to happen? It's going to move the sand. Just like our example, right? So which uh, wind carries the sand and smooths out the hills. So that's caused by wind. So here we have, it just rained and it's the, and then there's a lot of mud being carried. So, ah, I just gave you that one. So, <laughs> so uh, when it rained, the mud is carrying, uh, the water is carrying all the soil with it in the form of mud. So this is erosion. So, a wind flowing, wind flowing through the water, uh, may cause the water to move topsoil. Now this last one, there's a whole bunch of ice. What would happen if it, the ice melts? It's going to turn to water. It's going to turn to water. And then if it breaks a whole bunch of the rocks, what's going to happen to those rocks once the ice melts? It's going to move it. It's going to move the rocks, the particles that broke down, right? So ice melts and moves the rocks around. So all these are different kinds of erosion. So one more time before we move on, everyone say with me. Weathering breaks, weathering breaks and erosion takes. There you go. So now we're going to go over the three different types of rock that can, rocks, uh, the, how the three different types of rock create sand, silt, and sediment. So now I have some rocks to show you. Ooh. So now let's go over a sedimentary rock. So, a sedimentary rock is formed when little sediments are compounded together 
with force and then eventually cemented into a rock. So an example of this would be this limestone. So what the limestone was, it was a whole bunch of little particles and then some, somehow there was a big force applied to it and eventually it turned into a really strong rock. So what kind of rock is this limestone? Sedimentary. Sedimentary. And how did it form? Bringing little pieces together. Bringing little pieces together, that is correct. So now, let's go over a metamorphic rock. So a metamorphic rock is a rock that is created through a whole bunch of heat and pressure being combined. So it's not just pressure, but it, oh, there's also a factor of heat being added to it. So the scoria rock, in order for it to be formed, it needed a lot of heat and pressure and then mixed together some rocks. So what kind of rock is the scoria? Metamorphic. <laughs> so, how, how did it, what did we need in order to create the scoria? Heat and pressure. Heat and pressure combined together, yes. So now, if this rock happens to have a lot more heat added to it, eventually it will melt and turn into magma, and then eventually the magma will either explode and then it will be lava and then cool down, or it might just cool down when it's magma. So if it cools down, it forms a, an igneous rock. So now we have an example of an igneous rock, basalt. So what happened, what, what process happened in order to get this basalt? The magma melted and cooled. Cool. So the rock, another rock melted, and then eventually the magma cooled, causing the igneous rock, which is our example would be the basalt. So that is. Okay. So those are an example of our three rocks, and now we're going to have an activity for y'all to go over. So this activity, you have a picture of layers. So what I need you, what you, your group will be doing is matching the layers from, from the oldest to newest. So I have all the layers here in pictures. So now let's go ahead and match the oldest to newest. So now for this activity, we have a picture of layers of how the earth looks from the, from the very top to the very core. So now let's do the top layer together. So in the top layer, uh, where would the top layer be? In the newest layer? Would it be the newest or the oldest layer? The newest. The newest. Why do you think the new, uh, it would be in the newest layer? Because it's on top, so it hasn't been around that long. That's why it's still on top. So now that we know what we're gonna do, go ahead and do all of do, go ahead and do all the rest on your uh, as a group. Oh wow, yeah, Though, that order is correct. So the ver the oldest layer would be the magma because it's been here so long that with all the pressure, eventually it heats up, and then it's just mo it's just magma. And then as we go up, we have more solid, uh, the very most solid layer of our earth. And then it's still solid, but not as sturdy. And then we have some, uh, we have some uh, decomposing uh, living things, no, that use uh, non-living things. And then we have a layer of rock and dirt, and then we have our, the very top layer. So now, now that's all we have for you today. And I hope you enjoyed your weathering and erosion review.